So why am I outside holding this picture? This is a Frank Cousins photo of the hall. This is on the same corner, about 1890s. Most of Frank Cousins' photos are from the 1890s. So you see across Chestnut Street from the hall, which is now a park. Okay, it was a huge, beautiful church, Second Church of Salem. Okay, which was also built by Samuel McIntyre. This is his only church. And um, unfortunately, the church burned down. Okay, about 10 years after this photo was taken, it burned down in 1903. Not in the Great Salem Fire, but in 1903. Um, so after that, um, another church was built there. That congregation didn't last long and ultimately the owners of these Chestnut Street houses um, acquired the park. Um, and now the park is used at, for weddings and other gatherings um, for Hamilton Hall. So um, later on in the 19th century, about this time, while the church was still standing, the proprietors of the hall actually acquired it as well. So when you look at legal documents in the 19th century, you don't really see any reference to legal documents. You don't see a reference to Hamilton Hall or to the church. You see the South buildings, okay? And both buildings were owned by the proprietors of the South buildings, okay? So that is something I want to elaborate a little bit on because when Hamilton Hall was built, it was built by subscription. These Federalist merchants who wanted to dance just with other Federalist merchants actually um, bought shares in the hall in order to build it. And so it was privately owned through the subscribers and shares passed down in their families all the way to the late 1980s, at which point um, a very um, committed woman, Mrs. Call, who lived right over here in another Samuel McIntyre house, uh, decided that in order to raise funds, get grants, Hamilton Hall had to, had to become a legal charity. And so she wrote to every shareholder, asked them to turn in their shares, and formed Hamilton Hall as, um, as an incorporated charity.